A local football camp will help kids gain confidence, learn about fitness, and have fun. Emily Deem is checking out Green Bay Packers youth football camps. Hi, Em. Rach, good morning to you. Hi, everybody. We're out here at the Oshkosh Y, and check out behind me. We got 10-year-olds who are out here this morning. They've been out here all morning at the Green Bay Packers Youth Football Camp. Now, it doesn't start until 9 this morning, but we're out here showing you what these kids are learning, and it's a camp that ranges from age 6 to 14 years old, teaching kids all about football, but it's a non-contact camp. The kids are just learning skills and different drills. What we're going to show you this morning is what they usually do, a proper way. One thing that's very important, how to show a kid how to hold a football. I have Keith Vanderhoeven, who is out here with me this morning. Good morning to you, the director. Good morning. We also have Hans. And look how intense Hans is. Look at his gloves he's wearing. Hans, how many years have you been coming to the camp? Um, this is my second year. What have you loved so far about the camp? I just love learning and, you know, just having fun with my friends here. Great. Now, Keith, go ahead, show us how you're going to teach them to properly, something as simple as just holding it, but there's a proper way to right. do it. We tell them to take the hand that you throw the ball with, put your fingers across the laces with your index finger somewhere near the white line so that it feels comfortable. Spread your fingers out so it feels comfortable and you can hold the ball in your hand. Now, I see that, you know, Hans has his gloves on. I mean, that's something that the pros do. Is that something you would teach kids to do at a young age too? No, typically we don't uh, advise them to go out and get gloves because a lot of these kids who spend a lot of money that um, may or may not, quarterback may or may not be his position or receiver may or may not be his position, but if they have them, we let them wear them, but they're, they're not encouraged to go get them. Now, the kids, what are they doing behind us right now? This drill is called lead the receiver. It's a combination of a quarterback wide receiver drill where the quarterbacks uh, do demonstrate the proper way to throw the ball and they want to hit the receiver in stride so that he doesn't have to stop running and the receivers have, or should catch the ball with their hands. Now the camp started yesterday. It goes all week. Tell me how it went yesterday. Yesterday was a great day. It was a little muggy. We had to make sure that we had proper hydration breaks and we talked to the kids about the importance of staying hydrated. Uh, it looks like the weather is going to be a lot better the rest of the week so we'll be able to uh, work them a little bit harder but uh, it, so far it's been fantastic. These kids are a great bunch to work with. And tell me quick why it's no contact? Uh, it's no contact camp for a couple of reasons. First of all, most of the kids don't have equipment and they won't be issued equipment until they get to their teams in the fall. Secondly, we focus more on the fundamental skills, um, things to do with your feet and hands and where you should place your eyes and those kinds of things, which are more basic than the actual contact part. Great. And I know, Hans, you want to say something to Pete really quick? I love your weather forecasts. They're awesome. He loves your weather forecasts. They're awesome. And today, how's the sun? Great. It is great. So he has Pete to thank for that. The guys are going to be out here. We'll be in the next hour, too. But if you want to learn more about the Green Bay Packers Youth Football Camp, you can go ahead, check out our website, fox11online.com, because it's all over Wisconsin. We'll send it back to you. Awesome. Thanks, Emily.